Hey everyone. All right. So how do you know you got a wheel bearing going bad? Um, cause I get a lot of people that come in and their wheel bearings are shot and they don't even know it. So if you're going down a road and you weave the car one way to the other, basically lean the car to one side to the other on a straight road, obviously you don't want to go nuts and lose control of your car. Um, that's how you can tell a lot of times. Um, and it can be deceiving though, uh, because you can lean the car one way and you hear the noise and you go the other way, you don't hear the noise and you may think it's a left bearing or the right bearing. It could actually be the opposite. So a lot of times you gotta get on a lift. But to know if what you're hearing is a wheel bearing or something else, uh, best way to do it is go down the road and do a road test, like I said. Now we're, I'm gonna go down the little dead end road that I always go down and let's see what we got on this vehicle. All right, here's my little dead end road. Let's go. Pay attention to the noise. You hear that noise? Now watch. Goes away. Comes back. Goes away. Comes back. Goes away. Turn around here. Same thing. Now usually with this, you hear it? Usually going like this and rocking it this way it goes away. Usually that's the right side wheel bearing because you're putting all the weight of the vehicle on the right side at that point. Now you're unloading it. Unloading, loading, unloading, loading. I have been fooled in the past. Um, I've done that in the past and thought it was one side and it turned out it was the other. Because the way the wheel bearings are designed normally, um, you have an inner and an outer bearing. So a lot of times, or, or what can happen rather, is it'll be deceiving because you're loading and unloading one side of the bearing sometimes when you're doing that, just depending on design. And it could be deceiving. So the best thing to do is put it on the lift, get the wheels hanging, and if it's a four-wheel drive, have it in four-wheel drive and have it uh, running or uh, driving basically on the lift with the wheels off the ground. And you can listen with a stethoscope or a screwdriver to your ear or whatever. Um, something. And you can usually tell one side to the other. Um, on this, this is a two-wheel drive. So I should be able to put it on a lift and spin it to hear it. Uh, but the customer is kind of um, doesn't want to spend any money. So I'm not going to bother doing it. I'm just going to tell them about it, see what they want to do. So that's it for now. If you get something out of my videos, hit the like button. If you could, please subscribe. Uh, if you want to share my videos, go right ahead and share them. Um, I hope you got something out of this. Have a great day and keep wrenching.